Hello, Grace Life family, and praise the Lord, everybody. We are so excited about this 21 days of prayer and fasting and consecration here at Grace Life. Uh, and I just want to talk to you a few moments about what we are doing that it is a Bible concept that will bring revival, fruit, and anointing into all of our lives. Let's just go straight to the Word of the Lord today. If you look in Joel, the second chapter, in the 15th verse, it states, Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, get the priest and the ministers and all the inhabitants of the land to the house of the Lord your God and cry unto the Lord. I want to thank Pastor Parkey and his leadership in calling our church into this season of prayer and fasting. And I want to say today that it is a biblical mandate. He wants us all. All means all. All means everybody. God is calling all of us, all hands on deck, it's time to pray, it's time to fast, it's time to come together, amen, and seek the Lord together, amen. God, let us, it's time for us to get to the house of the Lord. We need this season of prayer and fasting to allow God to search and try us. We need to bring our flesh under subjection, under the obedience of Christ. God is going to change us during this season. Paul, who wrote two-thirds of the New Testament and did such a wonderful work for God, amen, he even said, I need to bring my body under subjection, whereas I preach the gospel to others, I myself might become a castaway. It's time for us to seek the Lord. It's time for God to knock the flesh off and allow God to change us to consecrate us, help us to get to where we need to go. And when that happens, He's going to begin to restore us. In Joel 2, 25, it states, I will store to you the years that the locust has eaten and the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I have sent among you. And you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. I'm excited about that. As we seek the Lord with prayer and fasting and we humble ourselves and pray, God is going to restore our spiritual appetites. He is going to renew a right spirit within us. He, we are going to mount up with the wings of eagles and He is going to give us strength and a spiritual frame of mind. He is going to restore righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost. He's going to bring back thankfulness and goodness and mercy. He's going to restore the fruits of the Spirit within our lives. He is going to restore some old callings and some old dreams. And God is going to begin to light a fire within Grace Life to do the things that He has called us to do. And that's so exciting. After He restores, amen, He is going to begin to pour. In Joel 2 and 28 it says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out of my Spirit upon all flesh. Hallelujah. Not only are we going to see revival in our lives, but by our spirits being restored, we are going to begin to affect the entire world around us. All flesh means just that, all flesh. We're going to have revivals in our families. Everybody, our prodigals are going to get ready to come home. Lost loved ones are coming home. God is going to pour out His Spirit in our schools. Come on, CMI. God's getting ready to do something amazing. We are a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hid. He's going to give us revival on our jobs, in our restaurants. We're going to cross cultural boundaries, and He's going to bring folks in. That for, And basically, it's going to be hashtag multiplication. Victory and deliverance are coming in the house. In verse 32, it says, It shall come to pass that whoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Amen. God's going to give deliverance and victory to grace life against all of our adversaries. Who's excited about 21 days of prayer and fasting? I certainly am. Let's all get on board. Everybody together. Let's all do our part. Figure out a time to pray. Figure out your fasting schedule. What you're going to give up. It's worth it, everybody. God is going to do a work. God and pastor has called a solemn assembly and called a fast. It's time to restore our spiritual walk and he is going to pour out His Spirit and give us victory. I look forward to seeing you in the prayer room.